Moving on, today is the seventh year of the National Silver Sunday Initiative, a project which aims to combat loneliness amongst older people in the UK. Latest figures by Age UK suggest the number of over 50s suffering from loneliness is set to rise by 49% by 2025. You know, the Silver Sunday Initiative is run by the Sir Simon Milton Foundation. Let's have a look at some of the work they do. If you live alone, you are like uh, you are under house arrest, where your friend is just the four walls. And maybe, maybe you can hear people talk outside when they pass. Well, I'm pleased to say we're joined now by Christabel Flight, the founder of Silver Sunday. Uh, Christabel, good morning to you. Good morning. Tell us a bit more about it then. How did you come up with it originally and what are you planning to do today? Um, well, when I became a councillor um, 13 years ago, I decided that we ought to, I, want, I asked if I could actually be the older people's champion for Westminster. And the first thing I did was to put on a tea dance uh, for a thousand people, a completely free tea dance at the Grosvenor. And I'm happy to say we're in our 13th year of that this year. Fantastic. And um, we have uh, young men to come and dance with the ladies in uniform and a uh, big band. But they have fun. <laughs> they have a they? Hugely, <laughs> hugely good time. So um, I thought, well, you know, if you can do this for a thousand people, why not actually, because it's all over the country, the loneliness and isolation, why not make it a national day? Yeah, talk, sorry, you know, no, you yeah, you're talking about mi uh, mixing of sort of different generations. Absolutely. Is I mean, that key to it? You know, you talk, we hear about the nurseries on the same site as old people's homes. Yes. Makes sense. Uh, it makes really good sense and, um, you know, lots and lots of the people who are putting on, we're, we've got a thousand events happening today all over the country and uh, I'd just like to say thank you very, very much to all those people who are putting them on. But a um, lot of those people are, are younger mm. and, um, well, nearly all of them are younger, of course. And, um, you know, it's, it's wonderful because um, that's, going to be, that's going to be the thing that combats loneliness. We were said in the introduction there, rising by 49% by 2025, I think. Mm. Why is it getting worse, do you think? Why will it get worse if those figures are correct? Um, because of the amount of people who were born sort of after the war. You know, there was, during the war, of course, there weren't many people born. And then after the war, when everybody was more relaxed, they had more babies. Mm. And so those babies are now sort of reaching, um, you know, huge ages and uh, so... But some, some more people being of that age doesn't necessarily directly re mean more people are going to be lonely. There must be something about our society that makes people feel lonely. Um, lots of people who've got children, the children can't buy a house near them and so they move off somewhere else. Also, in today's world, usually the, both the mother and the father are working, so they don't have time for the older people, necessarily. Mm -hmm. And so you do find a lot of older people actually have got children, but the children live miles away from them. Whereas typically, in the old days, um, you know, people actually stayed quite close together. They didn't move. We're now very much a moving, a moving generation. You've got lots of people who live abroad now, which wasn't typical beforehand. Mm -hmm. And is this just going to get worse and worse? Because you think about the generations coming up, how technology savvy they are. Will that help us going forward in staying connected and, and dealing with the, t the issue of loneliness? The thing I'm really hoping is that um, in the statistics of loneliness, lots and lots of younger people have, are saying now that they're very lonely. Yeah. And um, so what we want to do is to try and get the two together. Because um, also, if you're thinking about somebody else, you're not thinking about yourself. And so, therefore, you won't be lonely. So that would be my real plug. You know, if you are feeling lonely, please go out there and try and find somebody who, um, you know, to look after, because that would be a wonderful thing to do. Just finally, uh, tell us where people can find where their nearest event is for Silver Sunday. Um, if they out? go on to the website, it's www.silversunday.org.uk. And, they'll f and there's a map which is completely covered with little dots. Great. And they'll find uh, uh, something near them. And yeah. gentlemen, get your dancing shoes on. <laughs> yeah, and walking football. That is a really, really big thing now. Too. Fantastic. Christabel, thank Amazing you very much work. for coming to speak to us. And My pleasure. Us My pleasure. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, do stay with us here on Sky News. Still to come, we'll have all the sport, including Josie.